Today we're talking Callaway, we're talking two of the new golf balls on the range and what they have changed and how it could help the everyday golfer. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we are talking the Callaway ERC Soft Fade Golf Ball and we're also talking the Chrome Soft 360 Triple Track. So two golf balls that have been out on the range, but obviously there's some slight change to them. And what we're trying to do is show you how they could potentially help you. We're going to look at numbers. We're going to obviously test these in and around the green and off the tee. And everybody wants to know really how far they go. So the ERC does claim to be the longest golf ball they do have, obviously, and also a soft feel around the greens. I'm going to be testing them today. We're also going to get Frankie and mid handicap Dave to test these out and see which one they would go to. First of all, we're talking the Chrome Soft. As on screen now, you will see obviously what that golf ball is a urethane cover coming in around about 50 pounds. So we know that's the equivalent to the Pro V1. So if I hit that now here, we know what we should expect. We should start to see a mid trajectory flight here with this golf ball. I know what I should see. I should be able to get the same kind of feel as a Pro V1. and launches exactly how I would expect it to do. Urethane cover there. Again, alignment aids on there. Is that something you would use on the tee? It's something that could help you obviously square up a little bit. The one big thing as James pans down to the ERC is it has that nice black line for you to square up. So it's got the red and the blue fade lines, but it's also got something to square your face up. So a lot of the times I see people, right, they line it up with the alignment aid, but then they stand down there and it is nowhere near. And it's very much important on the putting green, which we'll show you shortly. All the information on the screen about this golf ball. So I'm starting to feel like, right, I should start to get a similar flight. I should get a relatively similar feel. Obviously 10 pounds difference. What will I notice? Certainly launched a little bit higher there. Got the exact same flight though, but felt just as soft. So felt exactly the same for 10 pounds. Am I gonna tell the difference? Probably not. So would you tell the difference? That's where we need to ask Frankie and Dave. So when we come to golf balls, like everything, just like golf clubs, and again on the channel, we're trying to show you things that maybe don't cost you as much money because we know we lose golf balls. Would the money you save be better spent on golf lessons? Potentially so. But the golf balls here, 40 pounds and 50 pounds. You know, on the channel, we've tested golf balls such as the Seed Golf Ball, which again, urethane cover, the Kirkland urethane cover, but coming in at around about 20 pounds and around about 25 pounds. So a totally different price point, even cheaper. But these alignment aids are a big thing. So one big thing we see from amateur golfers compared to the touring pros, they don't take as much time on lining the golf ball up. They don't get as much feedback and that's why they probably go for a lesson every week and get told the same thing. So you can see two golf balls here in the fairway. First one we're coming up to is actually the Triple Track 360. So we can see was a little bit of a, a further left line, so maybe hasn't gone as far. But we can certainly see how the ERC at £10 cheaper is competing. It is obviously getting out there. I struck that just as good. We can see with the line, maybe it would have been 10 yards past it. Here it's showing about 30. So interestingly enough, let's jump into the studio. Let's hit some shots and let's see the actual numbers with the driver and then also how they launch with an iron. So as I hit away in the studio there, you will see we saw exactly what I would expect. So from the hybrid cover, it was launching a little bit higher, which is what we did see straight away off the tee. So it'll be interesting when we hit onto the green shortly, how that comes off. We also saw that it does say low spin. Spin numbers was within 100 of the premium ball. Obviously the urethane cover of the Chrome Soft. So exactly again what we would expect from there. Distance wise, 5 yards difference in it on average. So not bad at all. For £10 cheaper, it was obviously only five yards behind on average. That's, again, more down to strike for me. I didn't hit them all exactly the same. So it does perform just as well. So if you're looking for something that launches a little bit higher, especially with a driver, it could be a good ball for you.
So I'm going to hit the RC into the green now. You'll just see the numbers as expected. Obviously, distance-wise, performing very similar. Launching a little bit higher with the driver. So if that's something that you want, if you want a ball that launches ever so slightly higher, then it could be a ball for you. And also, you've got to think it's saving you £10 a dozen. Into the green, I know how a Chrome Soft is going to react. I know that, obviously, we're going to get the same kind of spin as a Pro V1. We're going to be able to get it to land and stop pretty quickly. So I'm going to hit the ERC in here. Obviously, we're out that early in the morning the flags aren't actually in the green so i'm just going to hit it to the middle we're going to then be able to see how quick it stops from where it lands so it certainly launches high off there okay interesting landed at the front of the green has probably ran out around about 10 or 15 feet but one big thing there that certainly did pop up quite high i'll hit this triple track ball now the chrome soft I would again expect it to be a little bit lower launching. Interestingly enough, the ball fight there is totally different and it depends what you like to see going into the green. I certainly felt that I had more control with the triple track and the chrome soft than the ELC. So we can see where the ELC landed, as I said, right on the green. And it has stopped within three yards. So pretty good there obviously it launched high it stopped more on landing angle than it has spin you will have seen when we zoomed in with the chrome soft it landed just short but again it has landed short and then spun up so more spin on that one as opposed to landing angle so i'm going to repair that pitch mark and then we're going to talk a little bit of putting and one thing that i think the erc does better than the chrome soft that could help you hold more putts See on screen the different alignment aids on these both of these golf balls we'll see that down at the golf ball certainly with the erc we have that black line that like i mentioned on the driver and it's much easier to get your leading edge squaring up nicely especially with this versa odyssey putter we can get that matching a little bit nicer than if i come over to the chrome soft a lot of times we start to see people not getting that perfect so very much a thing that you will have to test out something that Go for a ball testing if they're coming to your club to do some ball fitting go and give these a go on the putting green you can certainly save shots with these alignment aids and that's the thing we're trying to do if we can save you a couple of shots on the putting green stop of a couple of those three putts then that's going to help you reduce your handicap and help you play some better golf so a nice roll there very visual great to see obviously the roll on the ball so you can get your feedback you can see if i miss for any reason if the roll was off i know it's technique I, I know that i might need to go for a lesson if the roll is perfect and it misses then you can break down right is it the pace or is it the greenery do i need to spend some more time there but it goes with the chrome soft good roll and a little bit right more me than the golf ball that roll perfect that just missed to the right so that could have been a little bit of my green read it should have been a little bit higher but guys that's the erc and the chrome soft the new version of the callaway golf ball we're going to be testing these out with frank and dave on the channel to see which one would suit them and would they pay the money